Hey guys, in this tutorial I'll show you how I created these tidal walking scenes in Adobe After Effects. So let's get started. As always, let's first see how this was shot. I started by planning the shots and deciding which angles would work for these kind of tightrope scenes. I found some old drone footage that could be used for this, and I especially like this one. However, the location doesn't really match the rest of the shots. But I like how the camera rises and I think it will look very cool with the rope going behind the trees on the left. So with the help of editing, I can cover the road and stuff. I also like this top-down shot. Apart from that, I want to have a POV shot as well. And we'll wrap it up with this long drone shot. Since I know what shots I'm gonna use, now we can move on to the shooting of the actual tightrope clips. I set up a green screen outside and place the rope on the ground so that I can walk easily. When shooting the green screen shots I tried to match the angles and perspective of the drone shots. Once we have all shots recorded we can get into the editing process. Before that I want to quickly mention Envato Elements. Envato Elements is a tool every filmmaker will appreciate. You can find there thousands of creative assets and templates for any kind of project you're working on. They offer great stock footage, including green screen clips like fog, fire, lightning, water, and literally anything you'll need. Apart from that, this library also includes awesome After Effects and Premiere Pro templates, VFX assets, intros, transitions, motion graphics, as well as sound effects and music. It allows you to download unlimited amount of all these assets just for a single price and you can cancel it anytime. Envato Elements is a huge time saver and helps you create videos faster. Make sure to check it out, there is a link in the description down below. Now let's fire up After Effects. First we're gonna take a look at the POV shot. I want to place this clip below the rope and we need to somehow make it move with the camera in the green screen shot. This can be done pretty easily by tracking the shot. So go to the tracker panel and hit track camera. Then keep the track points on the ground and delete the rest of them. Next choose a few track points, right click, hit set ground plane and origin, and then create solid and camera. Now make the background layer 3D, and as you can see, it's already moving with the camera. Just correct the scale, rotation and position. Next, take the pen tool and make a mask around the green screen area. To remove the green screen, search for key light effect, pick the green color and adjust the screen matte settings. You can also use the advanced spill suppressor effect to remove the green spill. Then rotate the background correctly and use the curves effect to match the lighting and colors. As a final touch I used the mesh warp effect and animated the distortion mesh to make the rope deform a bit. Finally, I used a wiggle expression for scale on the background shot to get a subtle parallax. And that's it. Let's move on to the next scene. Here I need to get rid of the road and do some matte painting. So first I 3D track the shot. And created a solid and camera. Then I took some of the other shots, started creating masks and stacking them on top of one another. I'm just showing you a very quick process. If you are interested in this, leave a comment down below and I can explain this technique in detail in a separate tutorial. Now we have something like this. 
So bring in the green screen shot, make a mask around the green screen area, and remove the green screen with the key light effect. Also feather out the mask to have some feathering on the ends of the row. Next scale down the layer and leave some space because we'll extend the rope to the sides. Right click the layer and click Precompose. Choose Move all attributes into the new comp. Now make the layer 3D and adjust the transform properties. Sometimes you can get quality issues when scaling clips in precomps, so you can enable the collapse transformations by clicking on this switch. But you can see it messed up our position, so we need to copy and paste the camera into the precomp and make the layer 3D. I'll precompose it one more time, moving the attributes into the new comp. Make it 3D again and enable the collapse transformations. Next, to extend the rope, I scrolled through the clip, found a moment only with the rope, and I froze it. Now I can simply create duplications and that way extend the rope. You can also slightly decrease the scale with each duplication. Now when you go back to the main composition, you'll have a long rope. The rope should have some deformation and twisting, so I went back to the pre-comp and pre-composed all of the rope layers. Grab the Puppet Pin tool and create some points on the rope. We can use a simple wiggle expression for position of the puppet pinpoint. If you see some weird errors, just play around with the expansion. You can use the same expression for the other points and maybe decrease the amplitude a bit. Additionally, I topped it off with a mesh form effect, slightly changing the curve. Finally, match the colors. The process of creating the rest of the scenes is very similar. Sometimes I just had to create some masks around the trees. And we are done. If you found this helpful, please consider subscribing and I'll see you in the next video.